Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, gotten Bastila to warm up a little bit to us and to her mother, and uh, tinkered with HK-47 systems a little bit to allow us to actually learn about the previous owner. Uh, most previous owner. Uh, he's had a lot of owners, <laughs> apparently. So, uh, we're going to try again. Since our repair skill is pretty high up there, we might actually have a chance of success. So, we're going to try it. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Good to hear. I would like to restore, or at least try to restore some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. Sounds good. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. Yeah, 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 yeah. valuable yeah, yeah. and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Fair enough. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. Okay. And now rewire hey! the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe we your did operation it. was a got success. more. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. Really? What's so intriguing? Statement. It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man mm -hmm. of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. Yeah, it seems you've been around, HK. <laughs> and did the senator know about the assassination function? Answer. It does not seem so, Master. No. He required a protocol droid only and wanted one as cheaply as possible. I do not know who sold me to him. I okay. do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was quite alarmed and told the senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the senator had me eliminate the fool. So we're not talking about a nice senator, I see. Observation. Senators are not nice, master. They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. My master told me that frequently, you see. I was most proud of being in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become Chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. Aha. Uh -huh. You can do that. Answer. Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity, and I take it. And my master was most pleased with my work. I'm sure he was. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. Oh, what? Ah, ha, 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 okay then. This got dark. It was bad before, but dark. Whoa. Why would he do that? Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. Cheating. I was gotcha. to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion cheating. I discovered okay. there. Cheating. Okay, I was right. All right. So his wife was cheating on Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. No? I journeyed to the southern <laughs> What? Continent. But it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I gotcha. found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack. But my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. Oh. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do. Do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. Ah. Well, it appeared he got a conscience at the end. Observation. I find that unlikely. Perhaps he was more concerned that the death of his wife would be more likely traced back to him. Gotcha. 
Uh, what happened to you then? Statement. I believe the senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. I see. So that's two of the two masters killed. Observation. Only so far, master. There are still more memories not recovered, remember? Fair enough. Uh, have you recovered any other? Answer. As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is Good. still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With Fair luck, enough. I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core, and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. A permanent bonus of two to his defense rating and adds to the defense bone uh, rather disc dexterity bonus from the earlier repairs awesome statement i wonder if we can continue this little serve, master this little thing affirmative if you believe your skills are up to the task master then i can certainly guide you through the process all right request uh let's get statement. started as you wish master you are already familiar with accessing my central control cluster, correct? Now you will need to... Let's see. Now close the last panel. Hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meat bag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, meat bag. I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. Uh, very well. We'll do this later. As you desire, Master. I cannot help but claim a small amount of relief. Signing off. That, that must have hurt. <laughs> that must have hurt, presumably. Statement. Um, a fighter simulation. A fighter simulation. That's a thing. Do you know anything about these Gizka? Statement. I have little knowledge of that to impart, Master. Damn it. Statement. All right. Uh, you don't need to call me master, you know. Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Organic meat bags. Retraction. Did I say that out loud? I apologize, master. While you are a meat bag, I suppose I should not call you such. You just called me a meat bag again. Explanation. It's just that... You have all these squishy parts, Master, and all that water. How yeah. Constant sloshing doesn't drive you mad. I have no idea. Because I don't hear it. They 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 kind of designed it so I don't have to hear it. Well, most of the time, when you drink a lot of water, that's when you hear it. But that's about it. Anyway, uh, neither do I. Come to think of it. Statement. Now, do you understand the travails of my existence, Master? Surely it does not compare to your existence, but still. It's just, <laughs> I survive somehow. Commentary. As do I. It is our lot in life, I suppose, Master. Mm -hmm. Shall we find something to kill to cheer ourselves up? Statement. Jeez. H <laughs> Query. I just want you to stop. Retraction. I just want you to stop. You just called me a meatbag again. You're the one who's driving me mad. Objection. Surely not, Master. I am programmed to perform all kinds of psychological assistance. Do you require some? <laughs> Stop calling me master, at least. Apology. I am afraid I cannot comply with your command, master, as much as I would like to. Why not? Explanation. Someone has hard-coded it into my system that my current master always be addressed as such. Got you. Who did that? Conjecture. I do not know. Some organic meat bag? Presumably. Yeah, because I don't think a robot would really care about that. Yeah, anyway. Uh, maybe I can fix Objection. that. Objection. I would not advise that, Master. There are safeguards present that, well, it should suffice to say that my systems have been altered plenty already. Fair enough. Uh, your systems have been tampered with? Answer. Considerably. Several of my systems do not match their embedded parameters. I have no memory of such alterations, however, or their purpose. Hmm. Who did that? Conjecture. 
I do. Okay, you don't know? Good answer. No, Master. My past memory has been almost completely erased prior to your purchase of me. Hmm. Almost completely? Observation. At certain times, power rerouting forces some memory circuits to fire that were previously deleted. I cannot control this process, however. Why not? Good answer. Because there has been considerable tampering with my systems, Master. Hmm. Well, let me know if you remember anything else, then. Statement. I will endeavor to do so, Master. Alrighty. Good to know. I wonder if Karth has anything more to say. But T3M4. Uh, you don't talk much, do you? Just chime in if you have advice. Just almost never. Uh, Jihani, let's talk to you. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, about your past. Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, mm -hmm. all of them, were so very invigorating. Invigorating? They were so very alive. So oh, full of hope and energy and zeal. In the retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. Give me a second, I'll fix that. Uh, I thought I had muted it previously. I guess I didn't. Oopsie. Also, shut up, chair. Uh, tragic. What do you mean, tragic? Well, yes. These Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting. But to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice, sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was mm. like looking at gods. <laughs> the second option. Damn right, I do look divine. <laughs> that was the case. They seemed to be misrepresenting themselves. The Jedi are not gods. I know that. I was using poetic license. Okay, fair. But those Jedi, they were... Enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. What happened? The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. Gotcha. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. Oh, jeez. Was it that bad? Of course it was. They took their frustrations and hate out on us because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh, no. But... But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. No, no, you're fine. It is all right. No, it is not. Anger can lead to the dark side, and I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for, but you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. I'm pretty sure Zalbar will not give me anything new. At least not yet. Uh, Karth, let's talk to yes, you. Yes, what's on your mind? Yeah. Uh, tell me why you want revenge on Saul so badly. I already told you, he betrayed us all. It just seems to be more personal than that. Personal than that. <laughs> Seems more personal than that is all. Well, there there is more to it. I'm I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. I asked, didn't I? It's just that I don't talk about it very much. Okay. I told you about my home world, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. Mm -hmm. I had a. a a wife and a son on Telos. Oh. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was 
was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but th they didn't come in time. It's terrible. Didn't know. Of course not. How could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. What was she like, your wife? She had courage, and... and she was stubborn. Could never talk her out of anything when she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back mm. onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now, I had planned on... on leaving soon, to join her. So what happened to your son? You didn't mention. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh, let's continue with what we were doing. Fair enough. That's actually an interesting thing. Now I wonder if I can actually get that to proc. Because that was the thing. That was also an interesting noise to hear. Because it made me wonder. It's worth a shot anyway. Especially since we're just stuck on Tatooine for a little bit. Hey. There we go. Karth. Karth Onesi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? Space dog. I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Hello. That's... Your friend of Karth's, I take it? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's um he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? Oh, There's an academy for the no. Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Oh, Sorry. no. I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure. No, oh, no problem. No. Well, good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Yeah. Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. We'll go there as soon as possible. Are, are, wait, are you sure that's wise? I don't know. I, I don't know why Dusto would be with the Sith, but I I have to find out. There's simply no choice. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. All right, well... That is, uh... That is a possibility. Huh. All right. Well, that was interesting. See if we can be of assistance to you? learn any more from our uh, companions now. So can what we is talk? It you would like to speak to me about? Can we talk any further? What are you thinking about? I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine, I remained alone. Not ostracized, exactly, but separate. Gotcha. Tell me about your people. In truth, I have lived in the Republic too long, and I know little. 
I never met any others of my race other than my parents. But we are not diplomats. We do not deal well with groups. This situation is new to me. It is, Get you. It is warming. I feel almost welcome. <laughs> Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Wow, that first line is fucked up. Whoa. Jesus. Okay. It is nice that you hold me in such high regard. To be accepted so readily, I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just thank you for accepting me. You're welcome. All right. I don't think there's much else. Much else I can do. But I'll give them a talk anyway. See if there's any more I can glean from them. How can I help? Uh, you curious about something? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised considering our bond. Yeah. Yes. There is something I would like to ask if you'll permit it. Okay. Do I have a choice? Don't even start with that. You're the one who asked. I wasn't even <laughs> going to say anything. But now that you've brought it up, I see I shouldn't have waited as long as I have. Uh huh. In our time together, I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order despite the lore of the dark side. Yes. There's so little training. For me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? I just do what I think is right. And that's enough for you. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. I mean... Are you saying you don't believe in the corruption of the dark side? I don't know. Would the power I use to kill Darth Malak be too tempting to keep using? Would I become the kind of evil I want to destroy? The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? What? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. Y y you can use me as a sounding board more. I mean, it's not like you haven't been doing that the entire time. How can I help? Uh. Then I suggest we move on. Nothing more I can talk to her about. What do you need? Earth. Do you want to talk? talk? About what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. Fair enough. Can't really blame you for that. Okay. Anything more with Jihani before we get off I be of, assistance of to you? this planet? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I of guess course. nothing. If there is anything. Alrighty. Well, so much for that. Uh, Kendris? Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> Any more war stories? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. Mm -hmm. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. Mm -hmm. Huh. What was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, 
linked directly with the basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. Hmm. Didn't think Mandalorians got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. Fair enough. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. You dropped from orbit riding a droid? That fucking sounds awesome! The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and on beam his head from that one. <laughs> unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. Jeez, that was some fight. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else bit. you want to know? A little bit. A little bit. Nothing more for choice. Now. I'm here if you want something done right. Cool. Alrighty. Now let's reread all of those. Andrews told you about what it's like to drop through the atmosphere in one of the Mandalorian's Basilisk war droids. From what he said, they must have been fearsome weapons. He would probably tell you more stories if you talked to him later. Uh, Bastila is having doubts about her own abilities as a Jedi. Hopefully her uncertainty won't work against the mission or lead her down the path of the dark side. You ran into an old friend of Karth's who stunned Karth with the news that he had seen Karth's son, Dustal. The only hitch seemed to be that Dustal has joined the Sith. He is a student at the Sith Academy on Korriban. Karth has urged you to go there at the earliest opportunity. You've heard from Juhani that her people were oppressed and ostracized by the human majority. It seems that the Jedi were the only ones to treat her fairly and may be why she admires them so much. Perhaps in a little while she will reveal more. And how the senator acquired the HK-47 is unknown. Fair enough. Okay. Well, I think we uh, have done everything that we needed to do in regards to catching up with our crew. Unless I gave enough time for Basila to talk a little more. Nope. Damn it. Then I suggest we move on. Alrighty, so I guess we have to leave. But I honestly don't know where we should be heading to next. Uh, there are a couple places. There's Manan, Kashik, and Korriban left to go to. I feel like Manan is the best choice. I'm not sure if I'm correct in that. I'm going to double check in a little bit, but for now I feel I should probably end the episode. So that way I avoid uh, <laughs> having you guys sit there while I Google it for like two to three minutes. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and supporting the channel as well. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to figure out more about our crew and uh, HK47, uh, Bastila, Karth, and uh, see if there's anything really we can do to help them. We're going to help Karth uh, we've helped Bastila, and we might help her a little bit more with her feelings later on. And, uh, we can't really get much farther with, uh, can't really get much farther with HK-47 without some repair skill. 
So uh, we'll have to check on if I can do that or not. I have very little hope I can do that without dumping points into repair and making them semi-useless for me. But uh, we'll see for you.